What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors. In this video, we will learn how to play PlayStation 2 games on your Android device with the help of the Nether SX2 emulator. Guys, I am not kidding, and this is definitely not clickbait. You can see clearly that I am playing PS2 games on my Android device. For your kind information, my device has just an entry-level chip, but I can run PS2 games with high definition and 60 frames per second. I am going to guide you on how to set up the Nether SX2 emulator settings and best configuration, control customization, and how to add PS2 games on the Nether SX2 emulator. It's a complete tutorial, so watch the full video carefully. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to hit the bell button. NetherSX2 emulator is a modified version of EtherSX2. Unfortunately, EtherSX2 is no longer accessible, so you can utilize NetherSX2, a stable application that can turn Android devices into PS2 consoles. It features enhanced performance and compatibility. NetherSX2 is available for download on GitHub and includes features such as configurable visual settings, support for several input ways, use externality, cheats, and more. Before we are going to install the Nether SX2, please have a look at what we need to run the Nether SX2 emulator. We need a total of three elements, Nether SX2 emulator herself, PlayStation 2 BIOS file and game files that you already owned legally. You can see I have already managed these elements and I recommend you at first create a folder in the internal storage of your phone and give it a name like PS2 and then move all the files. Let's download the Nether SX2 app on our Android phone. Unfortunately, Nether SX2 is no longer available on the Google Play Store, but you can still download it from the official website or GitHub. After downloading the APK, install it. Our second element is BIOS. The PlayStation 2 BIOS file is required to run the EtherSX2 emulator. Unfortunately, I can't share any direct links here. The next element we will need is the PS2 game file that you want to play. Remember, you should only use game ISOs, GROMs, that you own a legal copy of the game for this emulator. Before you try any games, it's important to check for compatibility. Check the compatibility list to ensure your game is playable. Make sure your games are in supported formats like ISO, CHD, and BIN. Now let's launch the app. We're going to see a welcome screen from this emulator. Just click on the next button and the next page is just going to give us some disclaimers and instructions. If you have time, you can read or click the next button. Now we are going to see the settings page. If your device is high configuration, at least Snapdragon 845, then you should select optimal slash safe default. If you have a low-end device, then select fast.unsafe default. Enable the expand to cutout area to ensure the maximum screen area is utilized. Emulation screen orientation is landscape, aspect ratio stretch fill screen. UI language, obviously English, API OpenGL or Vulkan. It's up to you. Upscale multiplayer means it will increase or decrease your native display resolution, but I prefer to use 2X. Now you can click on the next button. On the next page, they're going to ask you to import the BIOS file, which we have already downloaded. So just select Import BIOS over here and navigate to the PS2 folder where you've placed your BIOS files. This one over here corresponds to the USPS2 console. However, it won't make any difference if you're using a BIOS file from a different region. As you can see, our bin file has been imported. Click on Next button. Now it will ask you to select the directory or folder where you place the ROM file or ISO file of the game. So just click on the plus icon over here and navigate to your PlayStation 2 folder. Click on Use this folder to give access EtherSex 2 to use our phone storage. Then click on Next button. Our primary setup is complete and you just want to click on Finish. You can see our games are now displaying in the game Liberty and you can switch to List to Grid mode by clicking this icon. You can notice that games has no cover. We have to upload the game cover, so click and hold on game and you can upload the cover from here. Let's start a quick game. As you can see, the game is going to launch within the Nether SX2 PlayStation 2 emulator. At this point, I would recommend switching your device to landscape mode as it allows for much better gameplay. I am playing Burnout Revenge on Nether SX2. As you can see, I have all of the normal controls of your PlayStation 2 controller. The gaming experience is depending on the game you're playing and how powerful your Android phone or tablet is. Here, Service Warp Sidebar, if you want to save game state, you can just click on the pause icon on the top right and select Save State, and then choose one of the empty slots to load the game. Just click on the pause icon again, select Load State, and then select one of the saved slots. 
While playing the game, you can adjust the graphics and customize the control layout. I'll cover the best settings another day. That's it guys. If you want to watch something like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. Join our Discord server for any type of help. See you in the next video. Take care.